New York University Abu Dhabi was established as one of the several campuses of New York University as part of the Global Network University project, which was started in 2008. And since two years ago, we also started our graduate program, a unique opportunity for graduate students to come and study in Abu Dhabi. We have very good students. The acceptance ratio is only about 2%. We have students from more than 70 countries and speak over 60 different languages. Our research is very broad as well as the background of, of the researchers in my lab. And that makes a very unique environment where the researchers can learn from each other, can exchange experience and work together in order to create top level science. Uh, I worked on self thinning materials. So, if you're not sure certain what that is, a self thinning material is something that repairs itself, similar to a human being. You cut your finger, your finger heals, and it repairs. But you're living, that's different. So we worked on inanimate materials, like crystals. So I have made a crystal that when you break it in half, you pressure it together, and then after a little bit of compression, it heals to one full piece. I'm doing research on bioluminescence reactions and we are taking nature as a model to understand bioluminescence phenomena that we found here and also on other continents and use the principles that we found within these mechanisms to engineer smart materials for a sustainable future. My research interest includes bioluminescence, biomineralization, as well as self healing crystals. One of the projects that I'm working on is about biomineralization, which is basically a phenomenon that takes place in nature. So we were able to biomimic this phenomenon in our labs. I'm working on X-ray photocrystallography. Here, we combine both X-rays and lasers to determine the three-dimensional structure of a small molecule in their photoactivated state. Structural understanding of photoactivated materials in solid state will revolutionize the data storage technology. I'm working with scanning probe microscopy techniques to understand the, the fundamental mechanism of aggregation and uh, adhesion of uh, asphaltine molecules, uh, which causes a lot of fouling in uh, oil reservoirs and also in pipelines. I work on photocrystallography, which means I spend a lot of time growing very high quality uh, crystals of small organic compounds and then looking at their single crystal x-ray diffraction patterns under very uh, specific conditions to try to elucidate the mechanism of a lot of chemical reactions. As a structural biologist, I'm interested in the three-dimensional structure of proteins and the relation that that three-dimensional structure has with the function that they can perform. So I'm using all that information, my background in a bioluminescence project. I work on making smart materials with thermosalient and photoactive crystals and these are very interesting because these are crystals that actually respond to heat, respond to light, they jump and they create mechanical motion and this can be used to uh, harvest energy. According to the Nature Index, my group has published 63% of all the publications in the category of chemistry in uh, the UAE in 2015, which speaks not only about the quantity but also the quality of the research output that comes from this research group. One of our future endeavors is to establish a permanent physical center for material science research which will be based in NYU Abu Dhabi. We also established the UAE chapter of the American Chemical Society, which is the largest scientific organization in the world. And with that, we brought the UAE scientific community closer to the international research community. Well, being here in NYU ID is, uh, is a very nice experience because we, we are working with people with several backgrounds and not only uh, the researchers, but also a lot of different students. It's very good being here because everyone is very welcoming and, and of course we are here because we are interested in research and we have a very good support from the university and also from different grants and so we have money which is very important for research and we have what is most important is dedicated people, um, very good questions that we would like to answer in the different fields.